welcome back to Critterland. Today I have all of my Sylvanian family's Calico Critters Persian cats out and several new sets that involve Persian cats. So this is going to be a Persian cat extravaganza with a look at all of my Persian cats and other critters that came along in different Persian cat sets. So we'll do some unboxings and comparisons and a bunch of other fun stuff. I am super excited for this video. So let's get started. Of course, we have the Persian cat family. This came out not too long ago, maybe in 2017. They are absolutely adorable and they are the third type of Persian cat to have been released. And their name is simply Persian. And this one is probably the one I opened most recently. She is from the Flowery Furnishings or Sweet Living Room or the Liberty Print Living Room set. But oh my gosh, isn't she just, she is just absolutely gorgeous. This set is so magnificent. It really feels like a collector set too, not like a, a child's toy. Everything about it is so detailed, and this fabric is so soft. I didn't know what Liberty Print fabric was until this came out. And now I know what all the rage is about. It is so beautiful and soft. And I'd be remiss if I didn't show you the furniture because it is spectacular. It's got this beautiful gold trim. This is a living room that's very common, but it's recolored, and it's got the Liberty fabric, of course. And it comes with a lamp, and it's got a little Liberty fabric lampshade that can be removed. And you can really feel the difference on the fabric. And it's a little thinner, so you can actually kind of see through a little bit. And you even have a little gold detailing on the legs of the table. Now this cup and saucer didn't come with this set. This is from, I think, the Curly Ear Cats. But what a beautiful little living room, and it matches her dress. And I thought I'd show you these really quick. I won't go into this level of detail with the other Persian cat sets, but I wanted to show you the comparison with these more common living room set. And you can see it doesn't have any painted detail. You also can switch it for this fabric, so you get the two choices when you buy this living room. And then this one only came with the chair. This actually came with the Bluebell Cottage gift set, the recent one, and it's white. So that's really neat. You get the chair and the table only, but I do love that color, and you get the one color fabric. And then this is from the new uh, Classic Color Brown Furniture line, and this is unbelievably gorgeous. It is so much more beautiful in person than it is in uh, on camera or in photographs. It's just so shiny and beautiful. And this also has that gold detail, just like in the Liberty living room. And then finally, this one actually came with the Deluxe Celebration gift set with that pink set of houses. And I thought that might be the same one, but it actually is different. And then that also came with this color fabric, which uh, I don't know why I haven't put that on. It's really pretty. But you can see the green color is different. It's not the same. And by the way, the Liberty Print living room only comes with the one fabric, not two. So there you have it. And next up, we have the new Persian Cat Village Doctor. And I'm not gonna go through this set, but that is a beautiful Persian cat. And then this one is from the Town Hanson Brothers set from the Town series. This came out in 2021 in Japan and then also in the UK. And here they are. And they made their debut at the Critterland Christmas party last year which this is footage from that that I never ended up editing and posting, but they just made a complete embarrassment of themselves because their legs are so thin, they keep falling over. They're very unsteady. But they ended up having a great Christmas party. And they are a lovely addition, the only other town male except the piano player. So that's a nice change. And then we have the town Persian cat sister from the fashion playset. 
She is so beautiful. She also has thin legs, but has a lot more stability. I think because these dolls are meant more to be played with, whereas these are more, they just have very stiff legs. Like you, it's hard to even bend them. They feel very delicate. And over here, we have the beautiful Persian cat sisters and their amazing dresses. And these sisters came with the Deluxe Celebration home gift set. This is an amazing set that my husband actually got me on Mother's Day three years ago. And I cherish it. And he got it from Amazon right when it came out for the best possible price. So that was a really exciting day. But my favorite thing about this set, I think, were these two dolls. Because their dresses are so unique and just so totally gorgeous. And then we have this sister who, she came with the Red Roof Tower home. And she has the exact same dress as the sister in the uh, family set. So I thought that was a little bit eh, but at least she has the shawl, so it's not a total duplicate. And then we have these nursery friends that came in two different nursery sets. And of course the triplets. These are very, very loved by the critter community. And then we have the royal princess Persian cat baby. This one is so adorable. And this set is, this is one of my favorites. It is so beautiful. Every single critter in this set is unbelievably gorgeous. I just love them all. They came with a lot of little accessories. And then this is the Persian cat from the boutique, which I think came out in 2015. There it is. And this is a different style of Persian cat called a teak Persian cat. You see there's no fluff on the arms or legs. And up here in the corner is the picture of the family, which we do not have. But we do have the Persis Persian cat. Sorry about this lighting. It'll correct here in a second. And this came out in 2008. So I have yet to open that. And then next we have the So Stylish set. Uh, this is the sisters, Sky and Lyra again. But they are in beautiful embroidered dresses with berets. So we're going to open them up now. I can't handle it. I just can't handle it. This was a splurge. Um, I had to buy it from the UK official store and then use like parcel forwarding, which I kind of regret. It wasn't a good deal, but it's a beautiful little pair. And I got other things in that order as well. But look at that strawberry embroidery. I love what they're doing with these critters. I just wish they were available in the US. You have to go to the ends of the earth to get these really amazing ones. How beautiful. Look at that bow on the beret. And it's got a little strap to go around her head. I just can't handle it. And then this dress, which is styled a little bit differently, but coordinates perfectly. Look at the beautiful little daisies or dandelions or whatever. How beautiful. Little blue buttons. Beautiful. I love all the color choices. And the blue beret. And we have two other recent additions that have embroidery and their boxes are identical except for the design of course, but these are not like part of the same series or anything. And they even came out in different countries so that's interesting. But they both have embroider the beautiful embroidery which is just outstanding. And then next up we have the Winter Carolers. So beautiful with the babies. This is another one I got from the UK store because I've been meaning to get this forever, but I could not find it for a reasonable price anywhere. But I got it at a decent price uh, that way. Although with the parcel forwarding shipping, I don't think it was worth it, like I said. But <laughs> here they are. And lesson learned, but now we have the amazing winter carolers. And they are so super cute. So there's a whole bunch of tape and stuff on the back of this box, but I do love the way it's packaged. I think it is just so beautiful. 
And I love how the ornaments look like they're arranged on the trees. So here is the tree. It is plastic. It's like a hollow plastic. And it's painted really nicely. And you've got little holes to put the ornaments in. Here's everything. I've got all the little golden ornaments. And I love that these are the painted plastic. Or however it's done, it's done in a, a it's done well. It's not that kind of uh, cheap looking gold. It does look painted. You get a couple little trumpets. And look at the little angels. Oh my goodness. And you have the sisters in their warm, fluffy outfits and their furry little hats. How beautiful. They are ready to go caroling. I am just in love with these critters. Oh my goodness. How fuzzy. It's just they, they're perfect for these outfits because they're so fuzzy. Her dress is so soft. And I love the colors, the bright red, and the bright green. Let me know in the comments which of these Persian cats you have or what your favorite ones are, what ones you plan on adding, and we will decorate the Christmas tree. be moving from Christmas to Halloween. I love Halloween. It's coming up really soon and I do have a really cool Halloween video still in the works. I'm still setting up for but this is the Halloween trick-or-treating set from last year or the year before that I featured last year and it comes with our little midnight cat sister. She is actually supposed to be the ghost but our hamster is modeling the ghost cape because the cat, it doesn't quite fit very well on the cat. It just requires a little more forcing. So anyway, he's modeling it. But the Midnight Cat is perfect for the Halloween set all by herself anyway. And now we're introducing the Halloween party set. This is from Japan. I really hope this gets released in the U.S. so it, more people can get it. I got this from Amazon Japan a long time ago. I pre-ordered it and it arrived a little while ago. And it comes with all these amazing critters and all this really cool Halloween stuff and a recolored chic dining table from the town series. The only problem is with these kinds of sets, there's like so much tape. So I had to kind of destroy the box there. But look at that beautiful box. Isn't that gorgeous? That could be like a little photo booth. So we'll get everything out. And here is everything that comes in this amazing Halloween set. We've got the Persian cat sister and a cake that's like reversible and some dishes, a hat, beautiful gold silverware. And it comes in a little pumpkin thing. Isn't that cute? And we have the tuxedo cat. And she also has a little design on her dress. And she is like a witch ghost or something. Very cute little costume. And it's on there pretty snug. But she is super duper cute. And then of course the Persian cat's sister. And she is like a monster, I think. And she's got a beautiful little design on her dress. Like a little Halloween cityscape. Maybe she's supposed to be a bat. Maybe a vampire. But how, like, how beautiful. The colors go so well together. And this set is the perfect complement for the other Halloween trick-or-treating set. But here are all the accessories and the beautiful table. And this is a recolor of the chic dining table. You can see the same little rose design, but it's got the gray and the purple. It's also the same as the Rose Garden Tea Party table, which is probably my favorite with all of the gold detail. And then we have this itty bitty little midnight cat. How pretty, so tiny. 
And with these teeny tiny babies, only the head is posable. These little guys don't stand up so well, but they can lean on something. And then we have the pumpkin. So this can be a costume or not really a costume, but like a place to put him. It could also double as a decoration or a jack-o'-lantern. And we have the little pumpkin soups. Isn't that adorable? The little thing doesn't come out, so it's always going to be pumpkin soup. And then we've got some little cake toppers, cupcakes. Sorry, that's not focusing very well, but that's a little ghost. And then we've got this amazing cake, and uh, it comes on this beautiful little platter. I really love this platter. And the cake, at first I was a little bit, like, wary. It just looked a little top-heavy or something, but now I really love it. So you can put it this way, like a cake, or this part comes out, and you can reverse it. And then this thing goes on top. But doesn't that look cool? It just looks really whimsical, like it's going to fall over at any moment, or like a Dr. Seuss kind of cake. But I just love it. And you get two sets of dishes. These are the same dishes that came in the uh, rose garden, except they're simpler. I love that pink detail on the rose garden dishes. And then you have the silverware. You've got a spoon and a fork for each serving. And then you've got this hat that goes on the pumpkin. But I think it's so funny that this little <laughs> kitty can go inside of it. And the hat or the costume for the kitty can actually be flipped over and become a cape. So let's try that out. It looks like you're supposed to turn it completely inside out. I don't know if I want to do that and like smush the little bat things, but I just flipped it over and that seems to work really well. Isn't that cute? Now she has a little bat cape. And this hat doesn't really fit on her very well, but I do have some other critters to try it on. it best let me know in the comments and stay tuned for our Halloween setup I am very excited I got a couple little things for a really cute little spooky setup well thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time